So, Alessandra, thank you for sitting down with me. Um, my first question to you is that um, looking at the research that we've been doing at WWPEN in the past year, I was wondering if there's anything that stands out to you particularly from the results. Uh, hello, Anna. Thank you for <laughs> giving me the time to talk about this and to think about this. Uh, that's a really interesting question. I would say that what really stands out to me are some of the results of the mappings that we've been doing. We have been um, dedicating quite a bit of an effort to really understand um, how perpetrator programs are functioning throughout Europe. And I would say that there may be four major aspects that I think are worth uh, noting. Uh, on the one hand, that we have to reinforce uh, the gendered aspect of working with perpetrators. Um, we have to reinforce the collaboration between perpetrator programs and victim support services and ensure that victim safety and victim support is always ensured for all the women um, that are indirectly con um, affected by the perpetrator programs. We need to strengthen um, child support and uh, child protection, and we need to make sure that there is adequate risk assessment uh, throughout, again, to ensure women's safety. So you've mentioned incredibly important issues that we discovered that need strengthening uh, in European perpetrator work. Um, and I'm wondering what sort of measures um, WP is proposing to address these issues that were found and that are really dear to our heart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this has been really challenging because if we want to uh, take forward uh, accountable and responsible perpetrator work, we have to find ways uh, in which we are able to actually really evaluate and assess how each perpetrator program is working and what they're doing. And so we've given a lot of thought to this uh, aspect, and we've kind of come to the conclusion that what is really needed is a form of accreditation that can run throughout okay. Europe. Uh, most uh, European countries don't have a form of um, accreditation for perpetrator program. Uh, we have a few good exceptions like Germany, for example, um, and some other countries. Uh, however, most countries don't have an accreditation system. So that's why we have started this incredibly ambitious project of creating a European accreditation system. So, I mean, this newsletter is about the grants that we were able to give to our members this year. Um, and I think it would be really interesting to look at how these grants align with the vision that we have for a safe, effective perpetrator work in Europe. So could you elaborate that a little bit? So this year we've had an amazing opportunity to access funds that the EU was dedicating to strengthen programs and uh, uh, ideas around how to contrast violence against women. Our specific request to the EU for the grants was around improving the quality of perpetrator programs, specifically around those areas that I mentioned. So we were able to access these funds and to open a call for our members and allocate resources to our members to improve their practice within the context of uh, elaborating accreditation and standards for Europe. So how do you see these specific projects that we're funding this year improving the issues that you mentioned um, earlier in, the, in our conversation? Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, I'm actually really, really proud of our members. Uh, the scorings were extremely high. They presented extremely high quality projects. It was a very, very difficult selection because all of them were really excellent. And we're really excited because the level was so high. We think that the projects that were selected are going to have a huge impact. Um, there are projects that are more focused on research and should give us some uh, insight around uh, different typologies and risk assessment. There are other ones that are focused on improving the collaboration with victim support services, other on uh, child protection, other on uh, improving the quality of uh, 
the perpetrator program. So we're really, really looking forward to looking at uh, the results, uh, promoting them and keeping you all on board on the amazing outcomes that we hope will come from these projects. Mm-hmm.